Welcome, ladies, uh, to the national championship, and uh, we have Alexis Hartman, head coach Abby Sutherland, and Emma Brunkhorst here for the first press conference. After a marathon five-setter, coach, can you just give us your first impressions of what was obviously a terrific match on both sides? Uh, yes. You know, first of all, I'm really proud of the effort that our ladies put forth, but also Claremont. They went to two five-setters in the regional, and I knew that they would be really, really tough to play. Um, and so that will to win that both sides had made the match, I think, pretty interesting. Uh, ladies, can you uh, talk about, as a, from a player's perspective, um, playing such a tough match and, or such a back-and-forth affair um, here in the first round, or quarterfinal round? Um, I think we were prepared for it. It's kind of what we did in our last round of our regional championship. Uh, we ended up going five with Cornell. So we knew that we could do it, and we believed that we could, so we really just pushed for it. Yeah, I think um, it makes us mentally tough for the next round, which I think is really going to help. Now we know that we can fight, even if we get down, we're ready to fight back. Coach, how big was that timeout? In the fifth set? Yeah. Yeah, 13-13, I, you know, I wanted to stop the momentum. Volleyball is a game of momentum, and it was a roller coaster on both sides. We were feeling great at one, at one point, and then the next point, they did some good things, and then it was tough for us to recover. So I just wanted to call that timeout pretty quickly and stop that bleeding. What about even earlier in the set? I think uh, you 7-4. Seven, four, four, seven, seven, four. Four. Yeah, I love timeouts, <laughs> <laughs> but I have them. <laughs> Uh, and I don't even think that a, a media timeout occurred, probably because I was pretty quick to call a timeout. Um, yeah, I just, in a, in a five-set situation, with, with the way that the momentum had been going throughout the match, I just wanted to stop it right away and get a timeout and get the team on the same page and get them to believe. And it looked like they had the, uh, the quick set going with you today, um, at least in the first day, they going right to you for that quick kill. Uh, can you talk about the, how it felt out there communication-wise? Yeah, I think Alexis and I have a really good connection, and when it gets going, it's pretty hard to stop, and we just ran with it. <laughs> Alexis, uh, senior year, feeling comfortable out there uh, in, in your last run uh, trying to win that championship? Yeah, it's unbelievable. Last year, we told ourselves this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance, so keep pushing, and we were talking about it. I guess we lied because we're back, <laughs> so we're really excited, and I couldn't ask for a better senior year. Great. Is there any? Yeah. Is there anything you learned from last year's experience you think you can process and use for tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, taking it a point at a time and the feeling that we had from our loss to Cal Lutheran last year, to me, it still stings and I think it still stings with our returners. So we bring that with us tomorrow with the same focus, but knowing that, you know, losing, we don't want to lose. I love to win, but losing that feeling, we don't want that back. When, when you get, when, when the momentum has shifted as much as it did in the late in the fourth and early in the fifth, um, it, is it hard to stay together and, and not mature and not embrace it up and it's been happening, you know? Whoever wants to answer Yeah, I think that's what the tournament is about, is whatever team can mentally keep it together the longest and fight back in those tough moments. Yeah, it's not like it doesn't happen, I guess, throughout the year, but still when it's these kind of stakes. Yeah. Our bench does a great job, too, of like um, trying to get us up and keep the energy going because we couldn't do it without them. At 7 to 4, when you said you were trying to keep them together, was there any magic words uh, spoken in kind of calm? Um, I, I don't remember what I said there, but I do try and say random things to keep them lighthearted. Um, for some reason this morning we talked about Harry Potter a lot, and I just add those words in to, to get them to chuckle and laugh and live in the moment and just just enjoy the moment. Yes, I do. <laughs> I think we just reference things, or she's just her spunky self, and it helps us so much. Like I couldn't imagine without Coach. Uh, just one last question, looking ahead to tomorrow, obviously a match about to be played, I'm sure you'll be watching that one, but can you just talk about moving forward to the fourth final, or to the semifinal? Yes, uh, absolutely. Well. I wasn't sure about how I felt, you know, playing first, but now I'm really happy because <laughs> because we won and all I have to do is focus on scouting and that's what I love to do. And I think that they have responded and learned a lot um, about what we've discussed. And so we just have to really pay attention to the tendencies of Emery and Williams and, and find a way to, to slow down their hitters.
Galactus Emma obviously didn't look ahead to the semis, but do you know anything about Williams or uh, Emery? To be honest, I didn't know who we were playing next. I just wanted to focus on that game and keep pushing and move on. Any more questions? Coach, do you have any history with either of those? No. No, we do not. Great. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, uh, congratulations on uh, making it to the final site. Um, can you talk about, uh, just give us an opening statement on what was obviously a tremendous uh, five set marathon you guys just finished up? Wow. <laughs> um, fun to be a part of those. If you're going to be here, you want to represent well, you want to show character, you want to show poise, you want to walk out of here a, a winner. Um, obviously, there's only one that can do that. Uh, but we feel like we've represented our school and our program extremely well. Um, we showed the character and poise that we wanted to coming in. And, you know, it could have gone either way. A couple points um, there in the fifth set. And I think everyone in the building knows that. And, um, Unfortunately, somebody has to separate by two, and we fell just a little bit short today. Kind of jumping off on that point, I mean, it's your first appearance ever at this level, correct? And you stretch it to the final point. I mean, talk about how proud are you of these guys? Uh, I don't know if I could even put that into words. Um, they know that. Um, it's been a long journey with, with Megan. We've talked. Uh, she was one of my first recruits, and so I'm proud to stand here uh, next to her and uh, be there for that final point of her career. So I think more importantly, um, win or lose, I'm proud to walk off the court with this kid and um, look forward to doing that with many, many more down the road. And hopefully she set a nice tone for us. Megan, um, can you talk about uh, the defense against, the, obviously, a very strong attack from Wisconsin State's point? It looked like you guys were really controlling there in spurts. Obviously, both teams had a momentum at times. Can you talk about the defense you guys played today? Um, I think our team, I mean, we've got this far because we play as a team. Um, we don't obviously don't have any standouts, so it's just everyone has everyone just gave it their all today. Um, the, the setters were digging, the, the hitters were digging, our DSs were digging. Everyone was just doing everything they could, and we just played as a team. On a positive note, I mean, what's it like being in this in this setting and being a part of a match like that? I know win or lose, it's got to be fun to play in a match like that. Yeah. Um, obviously, this is our first time for this for our program history, so it was just a great opportunity. It was really fun to be here. Um, I love playing with all my teammates, so it was just fun to be able to go this long in the season and be able to play such a good match. And I'm really proud of how we all fought really hard. Nicole, um, do you want to talk a little bit about um, what the future holds for the Cougars and trying to get back here again next year, or I guess hosted elsewhere, but getting back to this level again? Um, well, our f the feeling we feel right now, obviously we have to remember, like, it sucks to lose, so we don't want to do that again. And I guess just get back into the gym and focus really hard and start looking forward to this year. Paul, you actually surprised that they came back one year later than they did when you had such a momentum going? Yeah, I was a little surprised, but I mean, that's how the game goes. The momentum can shift just like that, and we knew that they were going to after that timeout. Like they were going to bring it back, so we just try to get it back on our side when we switch sides. Coach, do you remember saying anything to them when they took No, I mean we had a we had a game plan that we wanted to stick to, and we just wanted to remind ourselves that. You know, sometimes discipline wins matches, and we didn't want to make mistakes that were beyond our control. Um, you know, you try to control the errors, and you know, you can't control everything. So um, we just tried to remind ourselves of that and, and key in on kind of what they had been doing in, in that, and they did. And you know, you got to give them credit for executing when they needed to. So I was really proud of that team for coming out and, and responding. It's how the match had gone, so I don't think we were surprised by that. Thank you guys very much. Congratulations on the first season. Thank you. Thanks.